So when it comes to my living area, there's pretty much my bedroom side, and then there's my kitchen side. And when it comes to my bedroom side, I think that I've got it sorted out in a way that I actually really like. As for my kitchen side, there's a lot of work. And the first thing that I actually want to tackle is this big plastic bin that I have here next to my 15 gallon tank. And I actually have a pretty cool plan for it. So today what I'm going to show you guys is how I'm going to make an aquarium plant nursery. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I need to do is prepare the bin. Now I can start preparing the plants that I'll be adding to the aquarium plant nursery. I already have some plants in mind that I want to move over from my 15 gallon tank. These plants are java fern and crested java fern which I feel are being smothered from the overcrowding. I'll also be moving over the Anubius from my 20 gallon just because I don't think it looks that great in my 20 gallon. Java fern will grow brand new plants from its leaves so what I like to do is go in there and pick the new plants from the leaves, attach them to lava rocks and let those new plants grow. Here I'm using black thread to tie the java fern to lava rocks. Alright guys, there we go, the aquarium plant nursery. I have a total of 17 plants in there. Most of them are the crested java fern. All these really tiny ones, those are all crested java fern. 
back there, we got the big Anubius. Over there, we got the big narrow leaf Java Fern, which if I wanted to, I could even propagate that one again. Right now, the temperature of the water in here is around 55 degrees. I'm not sure if I'm going to add a heater to this. I think these plants do prefer a little bit warmer water, like at least 60 degrees, but I'm going to try to do it without the heater. And all of these plants, except for the Anubius, came from my 15 gallon right here. And if you take a look at my 15 gallon, it still looks as dense as ever. You can't even really tell that I took any plants out besides that big java fern that was right here. But aside from that, you know, you can't even really tell a difference. By the way, guys, I still do have that single mosquito fish in here. There he is over there. I was waiting for this tank to cycle again. That's why I don't have any of the guppies in here. Um, I actually need to check the water parameters. It might be cycled by now. I'm not really sure, but I'll be checking on that soon because I would really like to get some guppies back in here. And then if you look up here, this is the pothos that I added from last week. If you haven't seen the video that I posted last Friday, I added some pothos to this aquarium, as well as my 20 gallon aquarium. I have the pothos plant right over there. That's where I took these clippings from. And so far they're doing really well. I also put a clipping inside my pool pond. The one in my pool pond unfortunately isn't doing so well. I think it's because it's getting too much direct sunlight. But you know of course I'll see what happens. And if we just go over here to where I have all these new plants, some of you might be wondering like why didn't I just let these grow out in my tanks? And the reason is, is because in my 15 gallon right here, you know, I feel like the plants are like way too constrained. And I feel like if I space them out like I did in here, it gives the plants a lot more room to grow out. And as for what I'm going to do with these plants, for one, I'm going to start up another 10 gallon tank. I think I talked about that before, but I'm going to start up another 10 gallon tank and I would like to use plants that I already have. So I'll definitely use these plants for that 10 gallon. And aside from that guys, I think it would be really cool and maybe fun to start selling aquarium plants on eBay or something. I've never like tried anything like that. So I think that would be like a fun thing to try out. And I just want to mention really quick, just to like give you guys a little forecast of what I think is going to happen. If we take a look at this crested java fern right there, that one's pretty tiny. It's probably like one of the smallest ones. So, I mean, just look at how tiny that one is right there. Check this out. So this is my 20 gallon right here. And if you look over here at these crested java ferns right here, that's about the size that all of these started out as. Some of them are easily like three times the size of that one that I just showed you. And I propagated these in the exact same manner. So, I mean, just look at the progress that we've gotten already. There's so many guppies in here. I can't wait till I could start getting them back in my other tanks. And by the way, guys, if you do want to know how to propagate Java Fern, I have a video on how to do it. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description of this video. It's actually really easy to do. And let me just give you a quick update on my 10 gallon. All right, guys, check it out. Here's the 10 gallon and the dwarf hair grass seems like it's doing really well. And I was actually thinking to myself, I might end up making this tank a male guppy only tank because I don't really want guppies to be breeding in here because it is such a small tank. It's only 10 gallons and it'll quickly become overstocked. And also it'll slow down the breeding of my guppies so I don't end up with like way too many guppies. So that's kind of the plan right now. Like I said a little earlier, you know, I need to go ahead and check the parameters to, you know, see when it's safe to add fish to this tank. But anyways, guys, that's my video on how I made an aquarium plant nursery. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. And if you guys did like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. I post new fish videos every Friday. I call it Fish Fridays. I post videos on my aquariums and also my pool pond. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, you definitely want to hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. I post there pretty much every day and I'm going to do shout outs in next Friday's video. So if you would like a shout out in next Friday's video, just go down to the comments below and comment. I am an Aquamigo and I will shout you out in next Friday's video. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching until the end. I really appreciate that. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.